when they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place. A charcoal fire. The word for charcoal fire used there is, is, is an interesting one. It's anthrakia. In the New Testament, that's only used in one other place. Charcoal fire. Anthrakia. If you read a few chapters earlier, there was a charcoal fire. Who remembers where that was? Peter, where Peter denied. There was an anthrakia. There was a charcoal fire in John chapter 18. Can I put you on the spot? Go to around about verse 18 if you can, Trev. The servant girl at the door said to Peter, you, are, you also are not one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I'm not. Now the servants... And officers had made a charcoal fire. There's that same word, anthrakia. That's really interesting. Because it was cold and they were standing and warming themselves. Peter also was with them standing and warming himself. There is a charcoal fire that Peter is denying Jesus by this charcoal fire. And Jesus, interestingly, decides to use a charcoal fire. Remember, there's no accidents. The Bible is an incredible book that God intentionally puts together, inspired by His Spirit. And there is this anthrakia, this charcoal fire, that then, after eating and dining and enjoying some time with the disciples, Jesus has a dialogue with the very man who was feeling charcoal joy. Three times we read. How would, how would Peter have felt? I wonder how Peter would have felt. Final point, your place of rebellion can become your place of restoration. Your place of rebellion can become your place of restoration. This is a sovereign work of God. I don't believe that there is an accident here. I believe Jesus knew what he was doing. He had a charcoal fire and, and was showing Peter, Peter, this, this, this scene you remember, I'm with you, mate. Let's eat together. Let's talk together. Do you love me? 